Mm. Both, uh, I believe, conservative and liberals have been claiming for years that uh, drone use in the United States is rife for abuse. Uh, the reason is they can be made in any size. Uh, researchers at John Hopkins are looking into how butterflies move so that they could craft drones the size of mosquitoes or birds. Um, they have the ability to have infrared cameras on them, heat sensors, and also the ability to stay airborne. They call it loitering for long periods of time. Contractors such as Raytheon and Boeing are working into ways to keep them airborne even longer. The danger, of course, being that with small drones, they can pass in dense urban areas, such as New York City, uh, into an apartment building, stay there, conduct surveillance. Uh, even now, drones have the capacity, through heat sensors, to determine, I think through a one-foot uh, concrete wall, who, if people are moving around inside. So if you swat a mosquito, you could be charged with damaging government property? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> A felony offense. <laughs> well, the defenders of drones might argue that it's, uh, it's it's only a difference in technology from a helicopter flying over uh, a, a scene uh, to use a drone, that there's no real civil liberties question, unless, as you say, they come into apartments. What's your perspective on the question of the t of it's not much difference in, except for the technology? It's very different. Drones do not require um, a space from which to depart the way manned vehicles do. So they can be deployed virtually in any area. Furthermore, technology has not kept abreast with developments in the law. And as was cited earlier, the regulations are really lagging behind. Safeguards about how they can be used need to be, be developed. There's a rush right now by military contractors and law enforcement agencies around the country to tell the FAA how they can integrate drones into domestic airspace in the next two years. And billions of dollars have been given to contractors for that purpose.